With over 25 years of clinical experience, I've worked with countless individuals who struggle with substances. Most substance use starts in high school years and can last a lifetime. My name is Scott Langford and I'm part of the Beaver County School District Behavioral Health Team, along with Paul Marshall, Pepper Gale, Lisa Cox, and Ty Beard. Is substance use a problem for students in Beaver County? We might want to believe that it's pretty limited in our neck of the woods. However, the truth is sobering. We want to share some facts and important information with you about substance use and mental health for our youth. Here are some statistics from Southwest Utah from the SHARP survey taken in 2023 that students in our district take when they are in the 8th grade as well as their sophomore and senior year. 25% of high school seniors have already tried alcohol and marijuana during high school. 10% admit to use within the last 30 days. While 98% of the students in the survey said that their parents would think substance use was very wrong, less than 35% said that their parents had communicated with them about their expectations regarding substance use. While tobacco smoking has declined, 25% of all high school seniors have admitted to nicotine vaping while 20% use vaping products with marijuana. In fact, 75% of first-time tobacco use has now started through vaping. The sad reality is that tobacco, alcohol, and marijuana are readily available in Beaver County. Though rarely noted on the survey, other addictive drugs such as heroin, meth, and mind-altering prescription medication also have a presence in our county and could be available to our youth. The most common way for teens to get substances is borrowing them from a friend. Since the pandemic, we have seen a significant increase in mental health issues, and many adolescents turn to substances to help them cope. The momentary relief they get when they use substances creates an emotional dependence that can lead to more significant use and increased mental health issues. This isn't something that only happens in big cities, it happens right here in Beaver County. Speaking of mental health, the 2023 SHARP survey revealed that 65% of all high school students in the Southwest Utah area indicate that they have experienced a moderate level of depression while 10% report their depression symptoms are severe. 50% of high school students indicate that they have a need for mental health treatment, while almost 25% indicate that their need for treatment is severe. It's pretty normal for youth to have mood swings. However, there are some specific behaviors that are warning signs of drug use. Here are a few. New or sudden changes in school performance, physical signs such as poor or changed health or change in energy, neglected appearance, changes in behavior, and changes in friends. Don't worry, there are steps that parents can take to help their children. Here are just a few. Communicate with your child about your expectations regarding substance use. Don't be scared to share your feelings or experiences you or others have. Stay emotionally connected with your child. Parental involvement and connection is a strong factor that decreases the risk of substance use. Encourage your children to be involved in pro-social, extracurricular activities as youth who are involved in activities tend to have lower rates of substance use. And be aware of your children's daily activities. If you're a student or parent and have questions or concerns related to substance use or mental health, there are qualified staff available in our school system, such as trusted counselors, teachers, administration, and clinicians who can guide you to available resources. There are also outside resources at Beaver Valley Hospital, Milford Memorial Hospital, and Southwest Behavioral Health. We want to remind students and parents that you are never alone. Help is available and our children are truly our most valuable resource.